Hey guys, welcome to cdom.net. This is the video explaining pointers. It's called Understanding C Pointers. Don't forget, if you want more information, click on the PDF off to the side. It's only $7 and it has great, great information if you just want to expand your knowledge. This video is just to give the basic concept and you know get you on your way to fully understanding C pointers and everything to do with it. Okay. Now what will we learn by the end of this video? Well, we'll learn the basic concept behind pointers because understanding it is half halfway there to being able to solve any problems dealing with pointers. Once you understand the concept, you can apply it a thousand different ways. And we'll look at a basic example of pointer use to further reinforce the concept and to help you understand it. Also, we'll look at why pointers are important. Okay. Now, the basic concept is this. Imagine the pointer is a tube and the variable is a box. Now, when you look through a tube, you're going to see the box considering that the tube is in the box. Well, that's what a pointer is. It's a tube and you connect it to a box, the box being the variable. Now, if I had to put a value in the tube, um, a pebble, a marble, or whatever, what would you expect to happen? You would expect that the pebble drops into the box. And also, similarly, if I had a pebble in a box and I look through the tube, what will I see? I'll see the pebble. And the denotation of a pointer is asterisk, and we just named it PTR. It can be any name, but the asterisk means it's a pointer. And our variable is x. So once again, if we had a pointer, a tube, and we had a variable, the box, and we had to drop a value, let's say a marble, pebble, anything like that, then we expect the value, even though we put it in the tube, the pointer, we expect it to be in the box, the variable. Now what can you do with a pointer? Or since we're using our analogy, a tube. Now, you can look through a tube and that corresponds to reading a value or you can put things in the tube like a marble, a pebble and that corresponds with changing the value now let's, let's look at one example now suppose we have our variable as 5 and you see that we declared it here x equals 5 and we have a tube now, the pointer now this next line ptr is equals to the after that x what that means is we're connecting the tube to the box. PTR, the tube, x, the box. That's how we do it in C. Now, if I had to look in the tube and look in the box, that's what I'm doing with these next two lines, lines 3 and 4. Lines 3, I'm simply printing the pointer. I'm looking through the tube. And line 4, um, looking in the box. Now as you can imagine if you have a box and the tube is connected to the box whether I look through the tube or look through the box I will see the same thing. Similarly if you had to look through if you had to print the pointer and print the variable in this particular example it would be the same thing and the output would be a 5 and a 5. Now let's look at another example. In this example, this is just to demonstrate the idea of a pointer. Now remember the whole the analogy with the tube and the box. So our first line as is equals to 5, we have a value in the box. We have a, a, a rock in the box. So x is equals to 5. Now the next line, we want to connect the tube to the box. So we're saying PTR, the pointer, is equal to Amsterdam x. That's how we do it in C. And the next line, this is just to demonstrate the pointers. What are we doing? We're dropping a value into the pointer. We're saying asterisk PTR is equal to 7. Now, picture it as a tube and a box. What is going to happen when I drop 7 into this tube? It's going to fall into the box. So, in these next, the next two lines, lines 4 and 5, if I print the pointer, 
and print the box, the variable, I would expect to see the same thing because I just printed, I just dropped the value into the box. No, you may be wondering, well, you had a 5 and you put in a 7, like, shouldn't it be 5 or something? Because our 5, 7. But remember, um, in programming, a variable can only hold one value at its time. And that value is the last value that was entered. So in this particular case, even though we had 5 inside of x, the variable, we put in 7. Now remember, we connected the 2 to the box. So when we dropped in 7, now if we look in the box, we're going to see 7 because that's what we just put in. And similarly in this case, the output would be 7 and 7. Now, you may be wondering, well, it seems pretty pointless. Why not just put things in the box? Why do we need to drop it in the tool? Like, is, like what's the use of a pointer? So. Um, we're going to look at a couple reasons why these pointers are important. Remember, if you want um, more examples or other ways of understanding, please purchase the PDF. It's seven dollars. You know, I'm in college also, and I know seven dollars you can spend that in a burger. So it's better you spend it to gain some knowledge on understanding C pointers. Now, why are they important? No. You may be thinking that, well, this is just pointless, but if you really get into programming, you would see that arrays, strings, classes, if you're dealing with um, higher languages such as Java or C Sharp, but all of these are pointers at its core. And we use arrays and strings a, a whole lot in programming, especially C. And it, by the way, if you don't if you don't know what an array is or strings, just purchase the PDF. It's all in there. Now, I should say there is no way of representing a number of associated objects without using pointers in some form of another. Also, pointers are efficient. For example: if you pass ten thousand integers to a function, you will have a substantial time penalty, but you can just point, do a pointer to the array and there you have all your values and we'll look further in this in the PDF and finally when dealing with functions pointers can be used to return lots of results now if you don't know what a function is don't worry but a function all you have to know to understand this point is that a function can only give one answer but you may want to give ten answers how are you gonna do it? that's right pointers now once again, um, purchase the PDF for more information, it's $7, um, thank you for watching, this is cdarm.net, and thank you.